Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Korea News Express. This week's episode is about how Korea is helping the world as a major player in the global community. Let's begin. First up, Korea has condemned Russia's armed invasion of Ukraine. The Minister of Foreign Affairs on February 24th called the invasion a violation of the principles of the UN Charter. Korea as a responsible member of the international community will support and join global efforts, the ministry said, including economic sanctions to resolve the situation peacefully. Seoul will also provide 10 million U.S. dollars in humanitarian aid to Ukraine. The ministry made this pledge on February 28th to help the Ukrainian government, people and refugees. Moving on to the next article. The ministry has directly delivered to UNESCO Korea's concern over Japan's bid to designate mines on Sado Island as UNESCO World Heritage. Minister of Foreign Affairs Jung Yong on February 22nd said this to UNESCO Director General Audrey Azoulay in Paris. The minister blasted the mines as another site where Koreans were forced to work and asked for the Director General's special attention and cooperation on the matter. The UNESCO chief pledged efforts to monitor and work on Japan's actions. And here's our final story. Korea is the site of the World Health Organization's forthcoming Global Biomanufacturing Workforce Training Hub. WHO said Korea was selected thanks to the manufacturing capacity of Korean companies for vaccines and bioproducts, training facility infrastructure, and the government's active willingness. President Moon Jae-in said Korea's selection shows global recognition of the nation's leading contribution to help overcome the global health crisis. Korea through this hub will share its experience and know-how with the world and boost vaccine self-sufficiency and resolution of vaccine inequality. That's it for today. I'm Yoon Young. I'll be back with another interesting stories on Korea again. See you next week. Bye!